collective. There are several clear indications mm. in your book, The Thousand Petal Lotus, mm. that by developing mm. this inner realization, yes. this kind of spirituality, yes. this realization of emotion mm. inside yeah. you, that other powers are developed. Mm. I'm thinking in particular of examples you state of clairaudience yes. and clairvoyance. Yes, yes. How important are they? Are they signs mm. along the way? Yes, I, th I think you put it very well there. They are signs along the way and, and no more. Uh, traditionally in Buddhism, uh, in association with the practice of meditation and the experience of higher levels of, of consciousness, certain subtle powers or organs even are activated. Eh? And as described in, in this book, I, I have had in the course of my own life some experience you know, of these things. Eh? personally and you know through other people mm. and also after the period of this book huh? so these sort of things can be expected among my own uh, pupils you know, in in this country those who practice meditation have had quite a number of, of such experiences of telepathy and clairaudience and clairvoyance and all the rest of it but these are very unimportant huh? i mean any meditation master worth his salt whether in the east or in the west will tell his pupil all right that's very interesting just carry on it's not of any ultimately spiritual significance. It's just a sign your consciousness is getting a bit loosened up. Uh, you've just risen to a somewhat higher level of consciousness. Though still mundane. Yes. Uh, uh, this, uh, you develop these sort of powers or these sort of faculties long, long before usually you have any contact with the transcendental, any contact with ultimate reality. They've nothing to do with ultimate reality. They are essentially mundane powers, even though very interesting. <laughs>